Hey, Ocean Runner here. I was running along Frost Point the other day when it was low tide, and I noticed that there was a ton of seaweed along the rocks, but there was nothing along the sand. And my thought was, isn't seaweed a plant? Wouldn't it be digging itself into the ground? So I'm curious as to why it's really just stuck on the rocks. So I'm gonna to go to my friend Wendy Lull at the Seco Science Center to learn more. Come join me. Wendy, I was running on Frost Point earlier today and I noticed that there was a ton of seaweed at low tide up on the rocks, but there was nothing on the sand. Why is that? That's a good question, Ocean Runner, and it makes sense if you think about it. Because you know, sand moves around a lot, okay. like this, and it moves around with the waves and storms and things like that. So these seaweed need to hold on to something hard like a rock, and they can't do it in the sand. Okay. Now, are these plants, I mean, is that like roots? Well, they're plants in that they're photosynthetic. Photosynthetic. Okay. So they get most. Yeah, that's of their, a tough word. It is. Thank you. They get most of their energy from the sun. However, unlike vascular plants, the holdfast does just that. It holds on to the rock, but it, there's no nutrients that in traditional vascular plants, those roots go down into the soil and soak up nutrients. Okay. And so the nutrients is actually when they're floating up at the top, the sun's really... Yep, there. it's sun and, and there's also a lot of um, energy that they pick up in oxygenated water. Very good to know. Well, thanks so much, Wendy. Each time I talk to somebody at the Seacoast Science Center, I learn so much about the wonders of the ocean. If you want to learn more, go to seacoastsciencecenter.org and click on our blog, and there's a bunch of great information from Ocean Runner NH, different creature features, and much, much more. Gotta run!